Hi guys and welcome back to Art with Abigail. So this is part two of part one of the video I posted before this. So if you have not watched the other video yet, don't watch these. Okay, so what we're going to be making today for um, Father's Day are cupcakes. And they're going to be vanilla with chocolate frosting and then maybe some sprinkles or whatever you want to decorate them. So let's get started with the making of the cupcakes. This is the recipe. Hey guys, and so for the recipe that I was following, in the description below, um, I'm going to try to put a link to the recipe in case you don't understand the measurements. Okay, so for the first set of directions, you need to preheat your oven to 350 Fahrenheit, which I just did. And then we're going to line a muffin pan with muffin paper. And then in this, for the batter we're making, we're going to get uh, 14 to 15 cupcakes. So, I'm just going to take these and put them inside of these. And I'll come back once I'm done. And then once you're done, we're just going to set those to the side and start making okay. them. So, what we're going to need is a medium-sized bowl, some baking soda, baking powder, and uh, flour, and then maybe salt. So, the reason I say maybe is maybe you're going to need it, but I'm not going to so later in this recipe it's going to call for butter if you're using salted butter don't add salt if you're using unsalted butter add salt and then the measurement for salt is going to be one fourth of a teaspoon okay okay and now we're going to start making Okay, so we have our bowl. I already started adding flour. So basically, we're going to need one cup and uh, two thirds. So I'm using a container like this, and a cup does not fit in here, so I had to use um, two scoops of half a cup. And then for two thirds, I'm going to use the one third, and I'm going to do two of these. <coughs> Try to make them even. And set that to it. And now we're going to do baking powder. And the measurement we're going to be using. is um, three of one fourth and this is for the baking powder. And then we're going to do baking soda. That's going to be and just one of these. And then if you were adding salt, that would be one fourth, like I said. Okay, and then we're going to stir through this. So we're going to grab a spoon. And we're going to switch, or we're going to swift this together so I'm gonna go 
around and just fold it over. And I'll come back once I'm done mixing it all together. Right now I'm done stirring it all the way. And I'm going to set it to the side. And then in a large bowl, using a electric mixer, we're going to be mixing together butter and sugar. I got my sugar. And I'll go get my butter. Okay. And you are going to be using one cup or two half a cup of sugar. Not powdered sugar, just regular sugar. So that's one cup. And then for butter, we're going to be using one and a half cups. So I'm going to measure my butter and I'll come back. Okay, guys. So. I'm going to add my stick of butter, and it, there's a little less, so I have to add this. So this is just a little less than I needed, so I need to add that. It's very, very melted. It's been sitting out all night. And I'm going to wipe off my hands because that was very really greasy. And I'm going to start by mixing it together with a fork a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to use the electric mixer. I'm gonna come back once I get set all set up and I'm going to use it but I would just like to say if you do not want to use an electric mixer uh, you can ask definitely ask a parent for help and then also check with them before you use an electric mixer okay so I'll come back once I get this all really mixed together so we're going to beat it till it's very Lucky. Once you're done beating it all together, we're going to add two eggs and two tablespoons, no, two teaspoons of vanilla extract. So I've got my vanilla here, and I've got my measuring tools here, two teaspoons, and one together again. And I'll come back once I'm done. Right, and then you're just going to want to mix that till it's nice and smooth and blended together. 
And then we're gonna mix in the sour cream. I know it sounds a little weird, but that's what the recipe calls for, so that's what we're doing. All right, so we're gonna need three to four tablespoons. Oh no, sorry, three tablespoons of sour cream. And I'll come back once I get this done. Okay, it's hard making it even. Okay. One. After you put in three tablespoons and mix that in. Once we get that all beaded in, we're going to take our flour or dry mixture that we have in our meat bowl, and we're going to take about half of it. So it doesn't have to be perfect, just about how much you think is half. And we're just going to add that in. Okay, I think that's about half. And then we're going to beat that in. Now come back once I get this all beaded in. Put that all beaded in, we're going to add butter, buttermilk. And if you don't have that, basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna take half a cup of milk, put it into a tiny bowl, add three spoons of vinegar, and let it sit and curd, blend together. So, and then we're gonna, and then let it sit for like ten minutes or five. And then we're just gonna add that in, and we're going to blend it in. And it might splash a little. Now come back once I get this high. I got that all mixed in. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a spoon and we're just gonna scrape down the sides of our bowl to make sure we get all the flour and everything. And then we're going to mix that. of our batter. And we're gonna mix that together. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our bowl. And we're gonna say mix to our chicken. And then we're going to fill up them. And then make sure you do you have enough batter to fill up at least more than 12. Because if you fill up at just 12, you're going to have some overflow. So this batter should fill up about 14 to 15 cupcakes. And then, so we already preheated, preheated our oven at the beginning. So that should be ready. After you get them all full, you're gonna put them in and set them on the timer through 15 through 18 minutes. And then, or another way to just test if they're done, set that timer, put a toothpick in them, and uh, see when they look about done. And yeah, make sure you fill them all about the same height. And I'll come back once I'm done baking them. Or I'll come back once they're in the oven, and we'll start making the frosting. Okay, guys, so now we're going to start the frosting. So what you're going to need is one cup of butter, three to four cups of powdered sugar, a half a cup of cocoa powder, A teaspoon, a tablespoon, one tablespoon of vanilla extract, and half a cup of buttermilk. Oh no, sorry. Ah, three to four tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. Okay. Now that we're done beating this, we're going to take two cups of powdered sugar and we're going to add them. 
and we're gonna beat that. Okay, guys. So once you get that all the powdered sugar, or two cups of the powdered sugar and the butter mix, we're going to take our vanilla. Our vanilla, which was one teaspoon, which was one teaspoon of it, and then we're gonna take our cocoa powder, which was half a cup, and we're gonna beat that together. And I'll come back with it. And once you get it all mixed up. We're gonna be in the rest of the powdered sugar. And we're gonna add a little bit of the heavy whipping cream. And then we're gonna beat that. And then we're slowly gonna keep adding more whipping, heavy whipping cream as we go. So I'll come back. I'm done with that. We're done, and it should look something like this, and it should taste pretty good. Mm. And then that's it. So now we have the frosting made, and then what we can do is we can put it in a piping bag and frost our cupcakes. Guys, so once you frosted them, they're all done, and you got a ch and you have a choice to decorate them. So how I decorated mine is I took melting chocolate. I melted it, put it in a baggie, cut a hole, and then wrote, put down some wax paper and drew some hearts. And I just stuck them on top and they're all frosted and hearts on them. Since it's Father's Day, I made one very special one. I wrote, I love you on it. And yeah, and they're all frosted and they've been sitting and cooling some of them i did flat some of them i did like this so you can decorate them however you want i hope you enjoyed watching this video i hope it worked for you that i did part one and part two and yeah i hope you thought that you enjoy these bye